Welcome in to the DNVR Avalanche Podcast. We got Jesse, Rudo, and Megan coming it to you live for, uh, is it really a Free Skate Friday episode? Kind of, maybe, sort of. I think this is going to be the most free skating we've done in a it, while. It is pretty free skating, <laughs> I guess, but it's early in the off season, so let's let's not go too crazy with it. Uh, if you haven't heard, all the new cra- all the kids are doing it. Yeah. Puckdoku.com. It's like Sudoku, but with hockey teams. You have like if you have the abs in a column and like Montreal in a row, you need to name a player in that box that uh, played, played for both. For both. Jonathan Drew. Oh my god, got it. Figured Technically it out. hasn't played for the abs Fuck. yet. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go through, and like I don't love Chad enough to do this for every single player on the abs that played like mm-hmm. one game. So I made a stipulation of they needed to have played at least a hundred games for Colorado and at least a hundred games. For another team, uh, there are 126 players that have wow. played 100 games for Colorado. And what's so funny is you said that it's every team except for Seattle. And I'm thinking of a couple that had they just gotten their act together and stayed Would healthy. Would have had 100. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Burkowski. And Donskoy. Been that guy. Donskoy, too. Yeah, Donskoy is actually closer. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it should be fun. It should be interesting. For those of you that play Puck Doku, you'll never miss an ab again after this show. I promise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I really don't know what to expect here. Uh, some of these teams should be very easy. Some of these teams should be quite difficult. And you said you want us to try to at least, at least get one for yeah, every team. I, I think you should be able to get one for every team. More than that, a little bit of a big ask for some of okay. these. But I, I, are you guys ready? Yeah. Should we yeah. jump in? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm just going to go alphabetically. Uh, that was going to be my next question, yeah. Uh, again, there's 126 total players. I'll tell you right now, 31 of them only played 100 games for the Avs and no other team. We'll get to that list at the end uh, because it is cringeworthy. What? All right. So under 100 players. Uh, okay. First up, Anaheim. There are four players that have played 100 games for Colorado and Anaheim. This one shouldn't be too hard. Uh, Francois Boschman has to be one of them. Correct. Uh, oh my God, I had another one. Uh, is Kevin Shattenkirk one? Or did he didn't, he didn't hit did 100 in Anaheim. Did not hit 100. Um, Jay Ashiger. Ooh, I don't know if he hit 100 in Colorado. He did not. <laughs> Ooh, wow. This is interesting. Can you give us the position? Uh, there are two defensemen and a forward. Would, would Manson be one of them? Uh, no, okay. Manson does not have a hundred in Colorado. Games. Yeah. See, I was gonna say that it's a hundred game yeah, mark. That it makes is what it a I'm lot trying harder. To get it clear it makes it a lot harder. That's more than a season. Defenseman. Uh, it, I can super give away one of them <sighs> if you guys want. Well, see, it was just Jesse one. has the one, so the you obvious said it was, one. It was two defensemen and, and a forward. Uh, yep. The forward is like the journeyman of journeymen. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Give me that one. Dan Winnick. Oh, wow. See, He's played everywhere. We probably yeah, should have known I that. Got, I, I should have I I gotten that. Uh, one of the defensemen is dead. Oh, uh, well, is it, is it, is it Ruslan Soleil? It is. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say it was either him or Carlos Scrastens. Yeah. Um, I don't think you're going to get the last one. It's Kurt Sauer. I was Ooh, not I would going not, to, I would I not, not have gotten that, that one. I, I, I should have gotten Daniel Winnick. I feel silly for not having gotten that one. More opportunities to get him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, are we on yeah, Arizona Coyotes yeah. next? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Arizona is next. I'm not letting you pick Winnick. Dang it. But, he, but he is on your list there, right? He is. Okay. He uh, is. Okay, okay. <laughs> um... All right, Arizona, how many is it? Seven. Oh. So, I, so I, I, I was actually going to say, I feel like this one will be a high number. Uh, Radim Verbata, Alex Tange. Not Tange. What? Didn't hit 100 with them. Oh, boo. Uh, Verbata's one for sure. He is. Uh, Bodker did not hit 100 here. Nope. Uh, trying to think in net. Oh, no. No goalies? No. Okay. There's there's only one that I think is real. Really? Actually, eh, one and a half that are realistically gettable here. Oh, oh, that are gettable in yeah. this one? Yeah. 
All right, so Verbata's one. You got Verbata. Yep. So you have you've met your one. Winnick is one two, of course. Yep. Okay, that's two. We get credit for both of those. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Tangay didn't hit a hundred. Uh, this is just really hard because I'm just, I'm just trying to go through a Rolodex of faces that I yep. can pick out in an abs and a... All forwards. All forwards. Okay, all right. That makes it easier. Actually, I, I don't even know if Aussie Vanden is a forward, but you're not getting Aussie Vanden, so it's fine. I mean, I do know the name, but I would not, <laughs> no. have, I would not have gotten that for sure. Uh... All right, so have we gotten the one that you said we would get, or are you saying there's one there. more? I think there's killing. one more that you guys can get. He's a forward. Can you tell me if he played here first or in Arizona first? Do you know that? Uh, I can, The two that like are gettable, I don't know the order. I can tell you one of them also played 100 games for L.A. and Vancouver, and one of them also played 100 games for Montreal and New Jersey. Oh, so these are guys that have moved around a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Wolski did not hit 100 games in Arizona. Good yeah, guess, uh, though. Uh, uh, Peter Mueller did not hit 100 games in Colorado. <sighs> That's another injury one. Think. All right, one of them is like a pretty big ad from the classic era. What? You would be surprised that he played 100 games for Arizona. Well, I was gonna say yeah. that, that, that's that's gonna be my thing is. Uh, shit. New Jersey's the key here. Oh, 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 um, um, hold on. <laughs> Billy Niemannen? No. Fuck. Bigger. He's won at least one. I think he won two con smites with New Jersey. Oh, Claude Lemieux? Yep. Seriously? Yep. Ended his career in the desert. I didn't See, I that. remember that, but I thought it was like a one season. Yeah, he, he, I don't know. He barely got 100 games then. Damn. Uh, the other ones. I thought that I thought I was going to get you with Billy Neiman because nope. he also had a nice stretch. With yeah, the not, Devils. not quite. Uh, Brad Richardson, I thought maybe you guys could get. Uh, mm. Derek Morris and Steve Ryan Precht. Oh, Derek Morris. I See, I, I almost have said gotten. Ryan Precht, but I was like, no, that was L.A. Wow, now I'm pissed. Steve Ryan Precht. Not, Ryan Precht. He almost can. came out of my mouth. And then I should have gotten Derek Morris. I should have gotten Derek Morris. I would not have gotten I, Derek Morris. I, I love the difference between, like, the classic Avs fan. And, like, <laughs> we're still getting to the teams where Megan's like, ah, yes, the 2012 era. Yeah, yeah this, is, uh, <laughs> this is tough. Son of a bitch. I, I seriously, I when I was trying to find Billy Neiman's name, I said Steve Reinprecht. Nope, he was in L.A. Yep. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, next up is Boston. There are only three. One of them should be very, very yeah. easy. Ray Bork. No. Probably didn't hit Did 100. not play 100 games in Colorado. I'm not counting playoff games. It's like... It's got to be like, I was it's say 90 like 97 something. Yeah, it, it's very like, close, but yeah. did not play 100. So it'd still be Seriously. easy. Seriously. Yep. Uh, what? Played 100 games in Boston and 100 games in Colorado. It should be easy? Yep. This one, is, the easy one is like more recent. It's not a classic era. Oh, okay. all right. All right. See, uh, this is my other issue now where I'm, I'm like digging too deep. Yeah. Uh, Did they play for Boston before Colorado? Yes. Okay. Oh, I, you said that like you were onto it. You were just no, verifying. No, no. I, I just, it need el <laughs> eliminates people, I think. I don't know. I'm not, there's not like this short list of people, but I think it is. Yeah, uh, I was going to say. He is Swedish. There, there are two others that you guys. Oh could get God, to. it's Carl Soderberg. Yes, that's the uh, <sighs> positions on the other two. Uh, one defenseman, one I don't remember. <laughs> You're not gonna get him. You can get, okay, you can okay, get the okay. defenseman. All right, who is the one that we're not gonna get? Dave Reed. See, I actually knew he'd be on this list somewhere. I would not have guessed it there, <laughs> but I was like, Dave Reed's gonna be the one that shows up somewhere. I There's a even... lot of names that show up somewhere yeah, on yeah, this yeah. list. Uh, I didn't know Dave Reed ever even played for Boston. Um, and then the defenseman. I, this one is a hard... I I would not have guessed this one for Boston either, but it's a defenseman from the... It's not Jan Hayda, is it? It is not. Uh, it's from the similar era, though. 
Yeah. Um, also played 100 games for Toronto. Not John Michael Lyles? I was just about to say, is it Lyles? Yeah, you would be right for Toronto on that okay, one, but okay. this is not, not He, he didn't play 100 Boston. for Boston. No. He did play in Boston. Not, not Lyles. Not 100. Whew. Man. Uh, he's smaller. Was it Shattenkirk? You're continuing to describe Lyles. <laughs> uh, I hated him on the abs. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Um, I... I just need to think. Of, is, it, is it Hunwick? Oh. Matt Hunwick. Matt Hunwick. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people. It was, it was when you said I hated him on the app. I was like, yep. I know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the guy everyone hated. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I was actually at his last game at his an app, and, really? and he got. I, I actually felt for him because he made a pretty egregious mistake, and that was the most aggressively <laughs> I've ever been in person for someone on the home team getting booed. It was brutal, and he got traded like forty-eight hours later. It was bad. Yikes. I don't feel that bad. <laughs> they make millions of dollars, all right? Uh, all right, we'll keep rolling. This one, uh, this, there's one really easy one. Buffalo. Brian O'Reilly. Yeah. There's four more. Uh, two of them are classic era. One you should get, one you won't. Who's the one we won't? Give us the one that we won't. Uh, uh, scored... One of the biggest goals in Avalanche history, defenseman. All right, well, then let's pause for a second. <laughs> German. What? Yeah. Scrastage? No. no, he wasn't German. One of the biggest goals. Oh, Yui Krupp? Yep. Um, all right, so that's one. There's one other classic era guy who probably isn't as synonymous with Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, and then there is another defenseman. And uh, what's the total number? I'm so sorry. Five total. You five have to two. We have two. Two forwards, one defenseman, one big name, uh, one name. Craig that, Anderson's got to be one. And they didn't play 100 in Buffalo. He was there for like five years. How did he not play 100 games? Backup life. Ah. <laughs> um. Joe Sacco. I'm just so kidding. Defenseman. <laughs> and then there's one like so. One big name, one small time defenseman, and one like grinder. What is the big name of forward? Uh, yes, yes. Did Danny Briere hit a hundred games here? Nope. So what I'm what I am learning is I know of a lot of players that played in small stints with the yeah, Avs or other organizations. Just under a hundred games. I know a <laughs> lot of those guys. Uh, the the big name is the guy who's considered clutch. Again, Danny Briere. Uh, oh, oh, no, JT Comfort didn't play 100 games there. He didn't play any games there. No, he didn't play any games there. You're right. Um, What era? Classic. <sighs> the team you'll know he played 100 games for is the Rangers. Um... Not Steve Connor Walchuk, is it? No. Um, no, that was Washington. This game is difficult. Yeah, this game's extreme. I feel horrible. The, the, <laughs> the, hun the hundred game mark is what's messing me up. I knew it would. That's why I threw it in there. Yeah, Mostly yeah. so I didn't have to memorize 300 other no, names. No, 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 no. That, that, that's totally fair. Oh, is it Dave Anderchuk? It is not. It's Chris Drury. Oh, my. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, the other two, Cody McCormick played 100 games in Buffalo, and Jordan Leopold. I, I would not have. Cody's. I can't believe I got. I didn't get Chris Drury. That's. So I thought you would get Chris well, Drury. Well, and, and and especially because you even added the Rangers. Yeah, the, I thought that would be the giveaway. That's like okay. Uh, well, and I even said JT Confer. That's like that's. What everyone needs. Oh. All right, I, I think you guys might actually be should be able to get a handful from Calgary. That Tangay is one. Tangay is one. There are eight total. Woo! Um, the big defenseman that sucked in Colorado. Oh, um, that um, Evan loves. Yes. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. How do you guys not remember uh, Nikita Zadorov? Thank you. Yeah, Nikita. Oh, oh no! I was talking about Corey Sarich. No, oh. Zadorov was correct. Sarich is not. How many games did Cody Sarich play in Colorado? <sighs> Not a hundred. Fuck. Uh, Jerome McGinley. 
That's three. Um, you said there's eight. There are five more. Uh, two of them are pretty gettable. Uh, one classic era and one yeah. bad era. <laughs> um. How long was Joel Colburn in Colorado? Too hurt. Too hurt. Yeah. Um, Kadri will be next season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> so funny. Um, I, I'm picturing a face. So I, I want to say there were two abs that went as mm -hmm. part of the Alex Tangay thing. Mm -hmm. Was it Ryan Precht? It was not. The ones you won't get, yeah. Sean Donovan, uh, Jordan Leopold again, <laughs> and then Derek Morris again. Was he the other with Tangy? Or those are the ones we won't get. Still... Those are the ones you won't get. Hmm. There's two more. Uh, and and I, am I correct in that it's the other guy that I'm went as part of the Tangy deal? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely same era. Someone said Jones. Was it David Jones? Not the one I was saying, but yes, David nice. Jones Good is answer. on the list. Yep. He's the bad one. Yep. Yes. From the bad era. Well, yeah. I remember that from, era. From the bad era. <laughs> yeah, Megan, yeah, yeah. Megan, the team bad era over here. Um, so it was another player that was like middle six yep. type guy. Was that Billy Neiman in? No. You're, a, you're, you're so close. I don't think you're going to get there. It's Stefan Yell. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, that, it was it was him and Tangy, son of a bitch. <laughs> On that scream note, we are brought to you On by the fantastic people over at Breckenridge Brewery. You can go get yourself a Palisade Peach Summer Beer right now. Amazing flavors everywhere from Breck Brew. Highly recommend. You can go to breckbrew.com, use the online beer locator. They're everywhere in the 50 United States. So jump on it, get yours. Remember the flavor you like, unlike trying to remember classic Avalanche players. Hmm. Uh, Palisade Peach, Strawberry Sky, uh, Mountain Beach Sour are the go-to summer beers, if you're asking me. But you, you can also, you know, if you're that type of person, you can get a vanilla porter in the middle of summer, if that's what you're into. No one's going to stop you with Breck Brew. Also brought to you by Shady Rays. You can use Shady Rays any day, any place. I mean, it's actually been somewhat sunny in, yeah. in Denver this week. So, you know, there's that. Uh, you can go to ShadyRays.com. Use code DNVR when you purchase to get 50% off your order. Jump on the great deal right now. Tons of different designs and options for you. And the replacement policy is dope. 30 days. Break them. Lose them. Don't like them. Send them back. They'll replace them for free. So, Great deal from Shady Rays. You can get whatever you want. You can try out different styles. It's uh, it's dope. Uh, okay. Back to the list. That was upsetting. You, you, you were pretty mad about this one. Uh, we can go through these two pretty quick because they're small lists. Carolina has four. Ooh. There's... I mean, uh, you'll know all of these names. I don't know if you'll get them in Carolina. Paul Stasi didn't hit 100 he there. He did not. Um, <clears throat> Three defensemen. Wow, I can't think of hardly any crossover between these two teams. Yeah, they're all pretty... They're not on... None of them are modern. Put it that way. One of them is classic for sure. Are, any, are they any... Are they... Like... "Quote unquote" names you would know, or are yeah, these... you will know probably all four of these names. Definitely two of them. <laughs> Just because I haven't guessed him twice, I should have. Derek Morris isn't one of these guys, He's right? Not. <laughs> um, You're on the right track, though. Just keep <laughs> guessing names that show up a lot. Uh, three defensemen, two of them offensive defensemen. In Carolina, wow. <laughs> Again, Daniel Winnick. He's a forward. Yeah, well, so. no, I know, but you said there was one forward. There is. It's not it's not Winnick. Ooh, dude, I, I have no clue on this one. Um at least one of them is from Megan's era. Okay. <laughs> so three defensemen. I, I don't I don't even have a guess for this one. I can't think of anybody from the abs who's played in Carolina. 
Uh, one of them fits team male model. The others definitely don't. That's funny. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea on this one. Chat knows. Okay. Chat's on it. No kidding. It was Lyles? It's Lyles. Wow. What? Yep. Played John Michael Lyles played more than 100 games in Carolina? Yep. Also Ozil Lynch. Wow. Uh, and then the other two were Radham Verbata huh. and Jay McClement. Aw. Yeah. Huh. I, I actually I do now remember Jay McClement playing there. I do not remember any of those other guys playing there. Now you know. Let, let alone for a hundred games. Now you know. Uh, and then Chicago, there's only three players that have played a hundred games wow, for that's Colorado surprising. and Chicago. Uh, one of them is Verbata. Yeah, dude, that guy played. He he had like nine separate stints in Arizona yep. and played everywhere somehow. Uh. One is kind of Megan's era, and one is a classic era defenseman. Megan's era is a forward. <laughs> Maybe most well known for having the worst shot in the league. Ah, uh, that's so funny. Oh, that's a terrible thing to be known for. And we're on Chicago? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Do you know if they played for Chicago before or after Colorado? Before. Tyler Arneson? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then the other one's a defenseman. Yep. Classic era. Not a big name. I think it's a pretty <laughs> tough one to get. John Clem or something like that? Yes. Really? Was yeah. it? Yeah, shit. Damn. Well, Jesse knows his Chicago <laughs> crossovers, I guess. Uh, this shocked me. There are only three players that have played 100 games for both Colorado and Columbus. That is surprising. I thought it would be significantly more. Honestly, both those last two, only having three for Chicago and Columbus is surprising. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely thought it would be like six for Columbus. Uh, uh, Fedor Tutin. Nope, didn't get 100 here. Seriously? <laughs> yep. That his tenure here went on like a bad nightmare. I thought yeah, for sure was that he was one here. One season. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> All that mental trauma done to Avs fans was over the course one of eighty two games. Yep. Holy smokes. <laughs> uh, uh oh, are we calling it the Malaise era? That's so Is that funny. the name? Of it? <laughs> I just so saw funny. it on the screen. But Matt Calvert has to be one of them. Yes, Matt Calvert okay. is one. The other two are defensemen. Oh, yeah. Is Adam Foot one? He is. Oh, yes. fuck. See, Hashtag I didn't know tap. how long he played there. Yep. All, my my timing is all skewed. He was their captain. Yeah, I was he was the captain in Columbus. Points. So, yeah, Adam Foot, Matt Calvert, and then a defenseman. another defenseman. From Megan's era, I su the Malays era, I suppose. Wow. Um... Ed was definitely partnered with EJ. Oh, Is it it was, Jan that Hader? was Jan Hayda. Yes, yeah, I was going to say was that Jan one Hader. was Hayda. Yeah. Uh, okay. So far, I, I think you've gotten at least one on all of them. Maybe we, we have gotten one on all of them. Carolina was tough for you. But Carolina, we did not. That I'll, is correct. I'll give you all I'll, Carolina. I'll give you Carolina because of Hedford Bada. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Dallas has eight. The ones you won't get are Dave Reed for sure. Uh, uh, yeah, you could maybe get these other ones. There's two that you should definitely get. Okay, 100 games in Dallas and 100 games in Colorado. The first one that I think has a player currently on the team? Val Nachushkin. Yep. Um... Can we get a positional breakdown here? Uh, two defensemen. I don't think you guys are going to get Scott Young, so I'm just going to say him. No, wouldn't have gotten that. Wouldn't have gotten that. Um, two defensemen and one, uh, three defensemen and one forward that you can realistically get. Shh. <laughs> 
Man. Uh, <sighs> two of them are more recent. One of them was a waiver claim in Colorado. Huh. Shit. I... <laughs> I wish everyone could see what the inside of my brain looked like right now as I'm just searching for all of these names. I'm just like picturing you got a Rolodex in helmets there. and nameplates in different jerseys. Like, no, no, no. Um, did Mike Ricci play in Dallas? No. I was going to say, I didn't. Mike Keen did, though. Well done, chat. Mike Keen. Oh, yeah. Blake Como. Good call. Uh, actually, not he, the waiver claim, but Blake Como is correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, waiver claim for Colorado. Yep, defenseman. Oh. Um. Patrick Nemeth. Yep, that's the waiver claim. Um. Yeah, the other two. Yeah, yeah. It's John Clem again. Ah, hilarious. And then the other dead guy. Scratch Scratchins, yeah. yeah. Uh, unsurprising. Oh, I didn't know he was in Dallas. Yeah, I didn't either, actually. Uh, only two from Detroit. Uh, Did yeah. Darren Helm? Didn't reach 100 games Not here. in Colorado. Oh, them injuries. Uh, one of them. Oh, dude, I, okay. Um, we had one of them here at the bar last year. Is one of them Brad Stewart? Is one of them Quincy? No, it is Kyle, Kyle Quincy. Quincy. Yes. And then, because that was the first ever trade between the two organizations was Kyle Quincy. Yep. Um, <sighs> should I give it away? Position. Defense. Is it hard? It's... You're going to feel really dumb when yeah. I tell you yeah. it. Is no, it John Michael to... Lyles it again somehow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but so. you're on the right track. Um, <laughs> see, this shouldn't be hard because this is a uh, doesn't happen often. It hasn't right, happened right, right. often in history. Keep in mind, it's not a trade. Right, but. right, right. Did they play for Detroit before or after Colorado? After. Is it Nemeth again? It is. Yeah, it's Patrick Nemeth again. Ah, oh, all right. That would have bothered me. Uh, Edmonton. There are three. Two of them are very gettable. Tyson Barry. I'll say, did Barry yep. hit 100? Yeah. Barry did. Correct. See, now I'm questioning my timelines on everybody. <laughs> there are a lot of them where I'm like, oh, surely this guy. <laughs> right, right. 78 games. I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. It's crazy. The I, other one fairly easy, all time Edmonton. Not maybe not all Ryan time. Ryan Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, what's the last position? Uh, I forget. <laughs> what position did Greg Devries play, Chat? Uh, <laughs> really? He played for Edmonton. Apparently. I did not know that. Uh, Florida, three guys. None of these are easy or gettable. Nice. Uh, it's Soleil again. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steve Reinprecht. Steve Reinprecht moved around a lot more than I thought. Just him, just Arizona and, and Florida with 100. But he was like on three other teams mm -hmm. for like one season. Yeah, two. And yeah. then Brett McLean. Oh, interesting. Apparently. Right, yeah. I would not have gotten any of those. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to try and make you guys get that one. Uh, L.A. This one's a freebie, but I'm curious who else you can get there. Eight. At Rob Lake. Yes. Uh, Rob Blake, is it, did Adam Deadmarsh get he to 100 there? He did get there? to 100. Um, oh, there's got to be a... Did Ryan Precht? Because <laughs> that's where the abs got him. He did not. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think he was pretty young. Um, L.A. You just said one of these guys. Really? Mm -hmm. Defenseman? No. Like it was a correct guess somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Like your most recent correct guess. <laughs> what the hell? Go back to tape. Yeah, I was going to say run it back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it would have been in Edmonton? Yeah. Who did we just guess? Who did we get? 
<laughs> Brian bragged. I don't know. No, oh my god. Now, now I'm gonna go nuts just because we can't remember. <laughs> no, we just I can't said remember. Forty seconds um, ago. I'm we sure. Need AG1. As, yeah, as soon as chat catches up, he'll uh, they'll nice slam good. you for it. I'm not. I'm actually not looking. <laughs> what is happening here? What? Edmonton and Colorado. Yeah, just yeah. Forget what, what LA. Did we say? It was Tyson Berry. Then who was the one that you guessed? Oh, was it Kyle Quincy? No, that okay. was Detroit. No, that was Detroit. That was yeah. Detroit. Forward. <laughs> but he played in LA, right? He did play in LA? Probably not that much. I don't know the exact number. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna look up there. I already looked. It's who is it? I don't know if it's correct though. I've got Coming be down the left wing. Winds up to take a slap shot. Well, I'm mostly pissed that we just said it. Right to the goalie's what chest. Is it? Every time. It's Ryan Smith. So oh. Nonchalant. He played in LA for yeah. 100 games. I know. I know. I tried to give you as many clues as possible. Well, I just, in my head, that was such a heart. Well, he definitely didn't. Wow. And I'm also just so annoyed that we couldn't think about that. Uh, a couple other surprising ones that got to 100 in LA uh, Eric Lacroix. Yeah. David Ian, David's looking him up officially. Ian LaPerrier. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> I'm leaving. I, I can't believe this. Yeah, that was, yeah. Duh. Uh we'll do one more here. Minnesota had four. There's one of them you should definitely get. And then there's two other gettable ones. Jost didn't play a hundred there, did he? He did not. Jamie Clement, did he do? He did not. Did he even play Minnesota? <laughs> well, uh positions? Uh, forward for two brunettes. One. Yeah. There's Brun another forward, and then there's a defenseman. Did Ryan O'Brien play? Ah, uh, he did not. No, I he's believe he's got to be Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so brunettes one. Another forward. Ah. Did Cody McLeod play? Not for Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> Played a bunch of games for Iowa. Yeah, he's um, true. Um, that, if you count AHL, better, you'd probably worry. get there. Uh, forward. Did we already? Hmm. He's a newer era guy, right? He's like, yeah, Malay's era. Oh. Did Brad Hunt play in Minnesota? Uh, he, he's not at 100 games for the Avs. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Uh, Chris Stewart. Yep. Um, you won't get anti laxin in. And then yeah. Skula is the other oh, one. Oh, really? Minnesota? Yeah. yeah, I was surprised by that, too. I was say I would have thought he would have been... Now that, now that you're actually saying, I'm surprised it wasn't Arizona. Because wasn't that another place he was? For? I think you do the same thing I do and get Skula and Verbata yeah, mixed up. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> because that's, I've been that done that. Right. <laughs> uh, and then Montreal. We don't need to do this one. Uh, obviously, Patrick, Patrick Law. Law. Yeah, is he the only one? No, there are seven others. Did Lekkonen others. get a hundred? Uh, he's not at a hundred yet because of the the injuries this year, but he will this coming season. Uh, all right. So Law. Yep. Uh, <laughs> is Jocelyn Thibault on that list no, as well? Did not get a hundred. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. Cause I think Mike Keane was in that deal. Correct. That's the third team that Mike Keane has shown up on. Uh, uh, I I, I want to say Ricci for some reason. No, there are two. Yeah, I mean, all of these ones to me are like, oh right, they played in Montreal. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of them captain the Avs technically for like a week. What? Yep. Oh, oh. Whoa. Theodore did not get a hundred games in Colorado. That was an error. Actually, I think it was maybe not a hundred in Montreal. I forget. Anyway, didn't have a hundred for both. Um, here's some that you won't get. Yeah, Patrice Breezeball. I should have. We should have gotten that one. Darcy Tucker. I wouldn't have gotten that one. Claude Lemieux played a hundred games in oh, Montreal really? to end his career. Uh, Brett Clark played 100 games in Tampa really? Bay. Really? Yeah, in Montreal and Tampa Bay. Yeah, I was going to say. Record, I knew but. Tampa. Uh, uh, and, and then what was the last? You said there's still one more yeah, that the, you think the, is. Was a captain for a week. <sighs> when Sackett got hurt. Yeah, I was going to. Um, I, can, I can picture it. Mm -hmm. 
Think of the most French Canadian <sighs> name yep, yep. you can um, think of. My brain is wanting to say Pierre Turgeon, but that's not right. That's very French Canadian name, though. Right. Um, <laughs> no, well, you just you're me. not getting it. It's yep. Sylvain Lefebvre. Yep. 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 I knew that. Uh, all right. I did know that. We are struggling out here, chat. Yeah, this is hard. This is I, very hard. I feel really stupid. <laughs> I don't I I don't feel don't feel stupid at all. I had to look up all of these and every single player I'm like, oh, he played hundred games for that team? Ugh. It's it's impossible. And I I have to imagine that there are a lot of players that we are thinking of that are like eighty nine games. Yeah, there are a lot where it's like they played a full season and right. just didn't quite get there. Right. Uh, but we are brought to you by Illegal Pete's. You can go down there and get, I don't know how to turn this into 100 games. Just, you get 100 burritos. That's a lot of burritos. Hey, 100, 100 burrito challenge. How about 100 ounces of margaritas Perfect. for happy hour, 3 to 8 p.m.? I mean, he did he say that 100 burritos seemed dangerous? And then he said, go drink 100 <laughs> that is a ounces lot of margaritas. margaritas. That's it. You're right. <laughs> you're right. That's way more dangerous. Uh, you're right, but you're they right. do have the longest happy hour around from 3 to 8 p.m. Their burritos are delicious. They've got the patios you can go hang out on. 11 at different locations here in Colorado, including one just a couple blocks from the DNVR bar. So go check them out today. Illegal Pete's, they even have a location in Arizona. So no excuses. If you've got 100 games in Arizona, you'd still be going to Illegal Pete's. Uh, and then we're also brought to you by FOCO. All of these random players, I don't think you can get bobbleheads for from these lists. But someone like Val Nachushkin, you could probably get a bobblehead for. Someone like Nathan McKinnon, you could probably get a bobblehead for. That's just Colorado stuff. They have the Nuggets Championship bobbleheads in if you want to pre-order some of those. Highly recommend. Go to FOCO.com. Use code DNVR to get 10% off. They, of course, have licensed uh, apparel and merchandise from pretty much every major sports team in the country. So whoever you're a fan of, Foco has you covered. Foco.com with the DNVR code. All right. We will keep it rolling because I am enjoying watching both of you squirm. Yeah. Uh, Nashville. Greg Zanon. <laughs> no. <laughs> Greg Zanon would have been a. <sighs> None of the above. Did not get 100 really? in Colorado. <laughs> yes. Oh, I guess I'm. All right. All right, all right. Uh, uh, it's Matthew Shane. Yeah, that's the easy one. The easy one. There's uh, another fairly recent two action. One of them you'll get. One of them you may get. Uh, There's five total, by the way. Okay, including Matt Duchesne, so we have yeah, four more. Correct. Of the four remaining goalies, or excuse me, defensemen, forwards? Uh, Two forwards, uh, defensemen, and Greg DeVries. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so funny. <laughs> um... So you said the other one is new-ish. You should. You could get both the forwards for sure. <sighs> Bednar era players. What? In Nashville? <laughs> yep. Did Nemeth go there somehow? He did not. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> both the of hell? them played Forward. in Nashville before they came to Colorado. Oh, okay. okay right, right, right. Oh, um, uh, Gabe Bork. Yes. It's not Renee Bork, right? It wasn't both of it them? It is not. Okay. <laughs> I was like... Renee did not hit 100, yeah. Just to make sure. <clears throat> oh, Colin Wilson. Um, and the defenseman said two defensemen, just one, just one. <clears throat> I also played a hundred games for Dallas, which I'm sure you've forgotten already. <laughs> sure. Have. Nemeth. Nope. No, we tried. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'll give you the 50, 50. He's dead. Oh, dude. <laughs> He's so, <laughs> so nonchalant when he has said that all three times. <laughs> Uh, I believe that was Ruslan Soleil, right? Wrong. It, it was Scrastich? Yep. Shit. Uh, Cody McLeod did not play a lot of games for yeah, people. He, he played, left Colorado and everyone treated him as the level of hockey correct. player he, he was. He did not reach 100 games anywhere yeah, the, else. The fact that he reached 100 games in Colorado is wild. And he reached like 600 here. Uh, New Jersey only has two. I think you should be able to get both. Claude Lemieux. Yes. Billy Neiman. No. Fuck me. 
Is Billy Neiman in anywhere on this list? Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank God. And I'm not going to get it. And I'm not going to get it. Um, is it Ryan Graves? Yep. Oh, that's a good guess. I was just trying to figure out how long he'd been there. Uh, okay. Next, New York Islanders. There are five. Varley. Yes. Taves? A, yes. Nice. Uh, um, these other three are tough. I don't think you're getting Huey Croup in New York. No, I wouldn't have got him in with the Isles. You could definitely get one of them. I don't know if you'll get the other one. Both forwards. Parento. Yep. Oh, good. This last one, not someone I would have connected with the Isles. Have we said his name? You have. You specifically have. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to guess this because for some reason in my head, I see him in this jersey, although I don't actually know. I'm going to guess Ricci again. Nope. What did What did he do in Colorado? Son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> he's the WA era, WA coaching era. Forward? Forward. Bald. Huh? Um, has a lot of very weird highlight connections or low light connections to Matt Duchesne. This is so funny. Um, <laughs> Megan said a name earlier that was tried to drop it to the trailer. That was Blake Como. Yep. What? Yeah. Weird, right? He played for the Islanders? Over 100 games. Did you even hear me say that as like a, Rudo, you dumbass? That was Blake Como. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, Rangers. There are five. Is Chris Drury one? Yeah, you already, had, I, you already had Chris Drury. There's five. There is one player still currently in the league. <laughs> And there's one classic era player you should probably get. 100 for the Abs, 100 for the Rangers. Well, the current player is a defenseman. Jack Johnson? Nope. He must have only played one season there, right? Yep. It was the lockout shortened season, too. Wa era defenseman, Wa coaching era. Yeah. Man. It's a lot of players, right? Is it Nemeth? It is not Nemeth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm so sorry. Say it one more time. How many were there? Uh, there are five total. You got Drury already. Yep. Uh, realistically, probably only going to get two of them. Wa era defenseman and then a classic era forward. I'm going to guess Corey Sarich again. No. Nope. No. Nope. He he like had some offense to him, this guy. I wouldn't say he was an offensive defenseman. It's not Mark Barbario, right? Nah, he didn't nah, play for the Rangers. That was Bednar more than Wah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's true. Man, that, that Wah era defense was just such a black hole. I've tried to like yep. burn so much of it out of my brain. Um, uh, he also played for Vegas, this defenseman. Oh, Nick Holden. Duh. Um this guy, the classic era is an OG. Came over with Quebec. Uh. Is Russian. Oh, I was going to say. Um, hold on. Because it's, it's, it's not Ozilinch. It's. Ozilinch is also not Russian, but. No, no, no. <laughs> but I'm saying it's like it was, it was the other like Euro guy. Yeah. Um, Shares a it, name and number with someone currently on the team. Oh, that's, that that really just threw me. <laughs> a name and number with someone currently on the ass? Yeah. First name. Oh, it was, it was Valerie Kaminsky. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then what are the other ones that we're not going to get? Uh, Lefebvre again and yeah. Eric LaCroix again. LaCroix. Oh. Uh, Ottawa. Has four. You just said one of these names. Nick Holden. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who is it? Nick Holden. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have guessed one of these names correctly before, and if you've guessed one of these names incorrectly before, and Sean Donovan. Again. Also San Jose. Really? Yeah. Huh. Those are interesting careers. I've had, like, decent have just tenures bounced with around. several different teams. Yep. Um, okay, we're on Ottawa. We've got Nick Holden, and then Sean Donovan's the other one, so there's two more. A goalie. Craig that Anderson. one has to be Craig Anderson. Correct. Yep. Yes. And then a forward. Uh, oh, shit. Era? Still playing. Oh, still playing. Did Duchesne get that many games? He did. Okay. Really? Yes. That went so badly after, so quick. Yeah, I wasn't after the sure. Uber, I wasn't sure how much time <laughs> had, that he had. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so it was... Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess he was at the very beginning of the season and then the trade deadline of the yep, following season. It was like season. just enough. I was going to say, so that would have been like 101 games. Nice <laughs> guess. Nice job. <laughs> All right, you guys nailed Ottawa. Philly has six. Uh, you probably won't get Sean Podine. Mm. I didn't know he played in Philly after that. Uh, Forsberg? Yeah. Played exactly 100. That's so <laughs> funny. I love that. Uh, okay. So that's two of how many? Six total. So four more. Uh, two of them are gettable. One of them is going to really annoy you. Shit. And you won't get Keith Jones. Hmm. I forgot that he played here. Yep. That's so funny. Um. All right, and, and and again, just to clarify, the Daniel Breer did not hit 100 he games in Colorado. He does not okay. count. Okay. Um. I hate when I look at the board and I see a <laughs> guess that is a good guess. Steve Downey. No. Okay. Good because I only because <laughs> that wasn't my guess. I was like, ah, oh, it's a great guess. Um. All forwards. There's only what three left? Two mm -hmm. left? Three left. The one that's going to annoy me is already in my head, and it's already annoying me because <laughs> it's going to piss me off. Uh, oh, so one of them is Spednar era, one of them is Wa era, and one of them is Classic era. Spednar mm. era. Oh, uh, that's Abe Kubel. Nope. Really? Not 100. Didn't get to 100 in Colorado. Here? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, who's the other Philly guy? He's French. Belmar? Mm hmm. Really? Yep. Huh. Peb. Um, okay. And then Is you have the most annoying one and the Wa era one. Oh, the, the most, most annoying, annoying one, one is the, one. the old school one? Yep. Oh. Uh, so I'm assuming it's annoying because he like just barely played 100 no, games. No, it's annoying for you specifically. Ha ha, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Ugh. All right, well, you work on the Patrick Waugh era one, and I'm going to sit here and... Uh, Patrick Waugh era one... For me specifically... Was a very clutch for a different team than this one in the playoffs. Had one of the weirdest shootouts in Colorado history. You're describing fucking what's his name? <laughs> I sure da am. Da Daniel Briere. <laughs> no. Uh, French speaking. It was really clutch for another team. Weird shootouts. French, French speaking. speaking. He once had a video of him translating for Marc Andre Fleury, and he just made Max it up. Talbot. Yeah, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, and then uh, you've tried his name like four times. Richie. Yep. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Thank God. <laughs> and what's so funny is I didn't know that he. I didn't remember him playing for Philly. Do we have time or do I need to speed up? No, okay, nowhere. cool. Then I can just hang out for a little bit and we can have fun with this. Pittsburgh, there's only two. You just said one of them. Richie again. No. <laughs> uh, Talbot. Yes. Uh, huh. 
The other one's a defenseman. Uh, yeah. Is it Jack Johnson? It is not Jack Johnson. Uh, oh, no, he's at 99 games for us. Yep, right? he needs one more game. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Um, for Pittsburgh, 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 Pittsburgh. Would be Bednar era, I suppose, defenseman. Played for Tampa this year. What? Is it Ian Cole? It is Ian Cole. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't have have put him in the 100 games for Colorado category. Uh, San Jose, the second most number of players for any team. Nine. Ricci has to be on this list. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Cagliano? Uh, no. Cagliano is Anaheim. Anaheim. And didn't, hasn't played 100 for Colorado, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, Matt Nieto. Obviously. Yep. So there's, we got Ricci, we got Nieto. There's at least one Brad more. Brad Stewart. Uh, was no. Rob Blake? He was so injured he did not play 100 games for Colorado. Rob Blake is correct. Yes, well done. Wow, I'm more of blown away by yep. the fact that Brad Stewart didn't get to 100 games here. Played his 1,000th game here, but didn't right, play 100 right, games for Colorado. Right. Um, <laughs> Sean Donovan again, by the way. Yep, all right. So there's four. <laughs> there's two more that you should get. <laughs> Forwards, defensemen? One forward, one defenseman. <laughs> That's so unhelpful! Uh... One of them is sort of still playing. The defenseman? A forward. And the defenseman is not still is playing? definitely not. My Maybe my least favorite av of all time. Oh, is it? Oh. Well, no. I was going to say Hunwick again, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah, You're on the right track, though. It's not Hunwick. TJ Hensick or something like that? That's a defenseman. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Is Least it, favorite av of all time. Is Winnick one of them? Is not. Ooh, interesting. Um, wow. Rudy, who have I heard you complain about? Someone in chat has gotten it correct. I think that's mine. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I noticed that a second ago. Thank you. Uh... And it was the defenseman that you hated. Yeah. Also, Ozil Lynch did play 100 games for San Jose, but that's not who I was talking about. Oh, fuck. Uh, focus on the forward first. It's way more gettable. Is it what's in there? No. That I just saw. Uh, forward is modern era. Ooh. See, I'm really just stuck on this defenseman here because... <laughs> I want I want to know who your least favorite av of all time is. Um It's not TJ Galliardi? It's the defenseman. No, but you said get focus on the forward. Oh, no, no, no. More recent. <laughs> more recent than oh, TJ Galliardi. Oh, oh. Really? Yep. I could give it away. He plays for the... Yeah, give me who he plays for. Expansion team. What? Was concussed all year. Was it Don's going? Yes. Oh. I didn't know he was such a shark. Fuck. Yeah, he's got like 300 yeah. some games for I them. I feel silly. I feel silly for that. Uh, my least favorite av of all time, Scott Hannon. Oh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was terrible. Yeah, yeah. Also on that list, Jeff Odgers, which you were never mm-hmm. getting. Uh, St. Louis. This one is pretty easy. Jay McClement. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, I was going to say, Jay McClement <laughs> is on that list, right? Uh, Ryan O'Reilly's the other one. Chad Kirk. And mm-hmm. Eric Johnson. Thank you. Well, yeah. <laughs> there were just so many. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, there's I, that, I think that, I, was, that was four pretty, I, like... I hate to inform you of this. Shattenkirk played 40 games in Colorado. Really? really? That's good to know, yeah. because we've said him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the hype exceeded what he actually did here, then. 
He was here just long enough to take a puck to the face. I can't believe yeah. it was only 40 games. Yep. Yeah, it was half of a season, wow. and then they traded him. Uh, Ian Cole also played for St. Louis. Scott Young, Chris Stewart made it to 100 games over there in the EJ trade. And Dan Hino. Hmm. Mm, yeah. And Paul Stasny, of course. Stasny. Which, yeah. yeah. Yeah, wow. A lot of, a lot of abs and blues. Tampa Bay. There are five. None of them are super obvious. Well, Ian Cole. Yep. No, but really? he doesn't have a hundred. Not so. in Tampa. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he played like eighty or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. Tangay's got to be one of them. Nope. Really? Only other one for Tangay was Calgary, with a hundred. Oh shit. Yep. He must have been there for. A, I was like, mathematically, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But he must have just been in Calgary for. A while, a long yeah. Would time. Would Belmare be one? Yes. Yep. yep. That's your that's your requisite one. Yep. That's right. Uh, Barbario. The oh. Other one that just made it. And then Chris Dingman and Darcy Tucker, and then Brett Clark. I feel like if we had a full like thirty minutes for here for me to sit here and think on Tampa, I would have gotten <laughs> Go Dingman line eventually. By line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, yeah. I wouldn't have gotten Uh, The biggest one is, of course, Toronto with 11. Whoa. There are at least three. Did Lyles make it to 100 there? He did. Okay, so Lyles is one. Padre's one. Good call. There are at least two others that I think you should get. I don't think Barry made it to 100, did he? He did not. um, It's, hmm. uh, Sundin? Uh, I'm not counting. I'm not counting counting Nordiques? No. Um... Ooh. Uh, of the ones you should get, one was a forward, and well, actually both were forwards. Uh, one was a college free agent. Kerfoot. Kerfoot. Yep. And then one has been to the bar multiple times. What? As part of the Avs alumni. Oh, well, that makes me more sense. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Um, now I'm now I'm flipping through those faces. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say David Clarkson because he was here at the bar last time. <laughs> He's part of the Laquag thing, but he never even played for the Avs. Yeah. Um, Megan, shit. Say your favorite player to say. It's Quincy. No, okay. your, other, your, oh, other, your okay. favorite forward. I feel like I've said a few. I've said Jay McClellan a lot. Yeah, yeah, correct. It's <laughs> Jay McClellan? Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, I actually, when I went to the I went to the Winter Classic at the Big House, uh, and my buddy, like, as a half joke, for that game, bought a custom Leafs Winter Classic Jay McClellan jersey. <laughs> And like five people stopped. I was like, is that a Jay McClement jersey? <laughs> I loved him. Uh, the other guy on the Altitude broadcast team. Raycroft? No. I said Lyle's like the first, yeah. first name. Yeah. Joined the Altitude broadcast team this season. Part of the rotating cast. Oh, Ian Mitchell. No, uh, John Mitchell. There you go. Jesus. <laughs> Who's Ian Mitchell? Do you kid? Okay. Oh yeah. God! Whoa! Uh, well, that's not who I'm thinking of. <laughs> a, a couple surprising ones for me here in tar- Toronto. Darcy Tucker, not that surprising. Yeah. Dave Reed was on there. Whatever. Francois Beauchemin played a hundred games in Toronto. I feel like I remember now that you say that. I remember that, but I would not have. Yeah. Naturally. And then also Matt Hunwick. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sylvain Lefebvre on the list too, but just to be complete. Oh, oh, how did you guys not guess this one? Dan Winnick. Oh, shit. No! <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Vancouver only has three. Not easy. One of them is Ryan O'Byrne. Wrong one. Liam O'Brien. Wrong one. What? Shane O'Brien. There Sh- it is. Oh, <laughs> <of a> <laughs> uh, R- uh, Radam Verbata. Yep. <laughs> Super journeyman forward. Yeah. Um, Most known for L.A. probably. Yep. Um, 
We said it earlier. Yep. You said it, and I said, no, that'll be Vancouver. That was like a lifetime ago. I know. It was. It was. I'm so angry. Oh, no. It was, it was, it was, it was. That was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Okay, Just okay, so okay. as long as we figure, we solved that mystery. Okay, 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 okay. Um, but we have said it earlier. Yeah. Arizona and L.A. This I don't know if you said it or I said it, to be fair, but. This isn't okay, the okay. one. And they were in L.A. and They were Arizona? in L.A. for a very long time. Wow. Or maybe, it was, I don't know. They played over a thousand games total. Wow. I'll say, it, okay, no, it wasn't, so it wasn't I, the one that not, everybody hated, You're not getting right? there. No, it's Brad Richardson. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vegas surprisingly has three already. I asked this on Twitter yesterday. So if you followed the DNVR Twitter, this everyone Stasny? answered it. Yep. Belmar. Yep. And hold it. Yep. Yeah. All right. We're good at that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The team that's six years old. We're good at that. Uh, Washington has four. Was, uh, Burkowski. Mm -hmm. Um, did Varley? Nope. Grubauer. Yep. I doubt you'll get the other two. Uh, is it Dale Hunter? No. No. What uh, What era? Uh, the Keith Jones era. Shit. Both of them? Well, Keith Jones. Oh. <laughs> oh it, it is Keith. <laughs> uh, and then the other one is a coach for the team. For the Avs? Mm-hmm. I'm a development coach, but you know. Kind of newly announced? No. I don't think so. Okay, okay. Is Connor Walchuk also on this list? No. He must not have hit 100 in Colorado. Correct. Um, Brian Wilsey? Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then oh, Winnipeg. Yeah. Winnipeg. Has one the the forgotten friend is Stasny. Yeah, yeah. That dude has also somehow ended up playing for a, a lot bunch of teams. of teams, for for like an extended period of time. That's crazy. And then I have a little bit of fun for you. Uh, there are five players that played for extinct franchise. Well, not franchise, but extinct teams. Four played for Atlanta. One played for Hartford. That also played a hundred games for Colorado. Is that one Ozelinch? Because that's what someone nope. was saying earlier. Scott Young was Hartford. Okay. The only there's one guy you could get maybe for Atlanta, but I'm not going to make you go through it. It's Andrew Brunette. Hmm. Uh, also hmm. Jeff Rogers, Sean Donovan, and Greg DeVries. Uh, I didn't remember Andrew Brunette playing in the. Uh, yeah, me Atlanta, either. So I would not have gotten that. Uh, six players played 100 games for both Quebec and Colorado. You should be able to get a couple of these. Uh, I mean. You said for Quebec and Colorado? Yeah. Sackick. Yep. Uh, Foot. Yep. Did Forsberg? No. No. Um, is Hayduke never played in Quebec? Correct. It's your favorite forward. My favorite forward. For the past hour. <laughs> Ricci? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. See, yeah, because I was going to say Mark Recchi, but. Nope. Okay. Two Russians. One that we've guessed. Kaminsky. One that you've guessed, yes. Yeah. The last two are Gusarov and Scott Young. Oh, okay, Gus okay, okay, Gusarov, okay. we should have gotten. Poor Scott Young. He was on this list like seven times. I never would have guessed him yeah. once. <laughs> should have gotten Alexei Gusarov. Uh, and then there are 31 that have played 100 games for Colorado and no one else. I'm not going to make you guess, but I will read them because I want you all to cringe a lot. Curtis, so these, these were just 100 games for Colorado yep. and then nobody else. Correct. In games played order. Oh, God. Curtis McDermott, Billy Niemann, Andreas Martinson, Brandon Yip, Kevin Porter, Patrick Bordalo, Kyle Comiskey. <laughs> Mikhail Gregorenko, oh Marc-Andre Cliche, Alex Newhook, Ben Gite, TJ Galliardi, Nate Gennon, David ah. Abisher, Logan O'Connor, 
Ryan Wilson, Renee Corbet, Scott Parker, Kale McCarr, Peter Budai, Wojtek Wolski, Merrick Svatos, Tyson Jost, Eric Messier, Sam Gerard, JT Confer, Miko Rantanen, Cody McLeod, Nathan McKinnon, Gabe Landeskog, Milan Hayduk. Yeah, the, those names near the bottom are rough. Yeah. Those are rough. The the names at the bottom are like, oh, they actually made it to 100 games, huh? Yeah. Well, as I say, that's, that's the... There's a lot of those rosters, games, and shit like that through the 2010s that were bad. But when you hear the names that were like, no, these were... They were at multiple <laughs> training camps. You're like, holy smokes. Okay. We made it. Oh. No excuses. You should never miss a puck doku for an av ever again. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> I can't even remember half the names we went through. I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe for the best. I would like to see how many we got. I think because I do still feel like we got an above yeah, average. There amount. were like only one or two teams you guys like couldn't get at least one on. Carolina is the only that one that hard. I was like truly like. I don't even have an educated guess. Yep. Yeah. So pretty darn good to be honest. Uh, Puck Doku will also do it with like awards. Those are easy. Wah, Forsberg, Sackett, <laughs> and Makar will cover just about every award in the <laughs> NHL for you. So you're good on that. Uh, we did get one super chat from Melanie for $20 who says, I will try to make this short. I lost my hockey buddy, my dad, in 2016 to cancer. I also lost my love for hockey after this. I want to sincerely thank you all for helping me find my way back. Go Avs. Appreciate you, Melanie. We know yeah, you're always seriously. here. I'm sorry about your, your yeah, father. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, that's horrible. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, glad you're back. Uh, anyway, a fun Friday show where we messed Speak around. Speak for and, yourself. And it, it was fun for me. I, th I thought it was fun. I get to watch both of you squirm all day, so I enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you did well, chat. Hopefully you didn't cheat by looking people up either. Uh, we appreciate all y'all, and we will talk to you, I guess, on Monday.